Okay, hello everyone. So let us now take a look at the graphs and some transformations of logarithmic functions. Okay, so if you look at this graph right here, uh, we have here f of x is equal to e raised to x and g of x is equal to ln of x and the line y is equal to x. So as you can see, ln of x is the inverse of e raised to x and they are symmetric along the uh, line y is equal to x. Okay, so on the right here are the are the different properties of the uh, g of x equal to ln of x. So we have here the domain is from 0 to positive infinity. Now uh, we need to take note here that 0 is not included here and uh, it goes all the way to positive infinity. Okay, so the range is from negative infinity to positive infinity and the intercept is 1, 0. So as you can see in the graph, we have here in the intersection on the x-axis is at 1, 0. And we have here increasing from 0 to positive infinity. So uh, you can see here this uh, blue curve is um, uh, increasing uh, as we go to positive infinity. And we have here the y-axis is the horizontal asymptote. So uh, uh, this is because uh, as, we, as we approach 0 from the right side here, um, uh, the log of x of base a approaches 0. It, it, approaches, it approaches 0, but it never um, intersects with zero. It, with um, x is equal to 0. Okay? With the line, uh, it never intersects the um, y-axis. Okay? So, and it is continuous. Okay? So, those are the properties of uh, y is equal to ln of x. And now, let's move to some transfer, transformations. Okay? As we see here, we have here y is equal to log of x base 10. That will be our reference. And then if we subtract 2 from log of x base 10, so you will see here a, a shifting uh, shifting uh, downwards. Okay. So the blue, uh, ret uh, the it retains its uh, shape, uh, but uh, all of uh, the curve is just shifted downwards. Okay. Now let's take a look at another one. So let's see we have here... Uh, y is equal to log of x base 10 is still our reference and we have here y is equal to log of x minus 2 base 10 so the x minus 2 here i take note of the parenthesis so if we do that there will be a shifting to the right okay so as you know uh if you subtract 2 from x then uh, uh, if you subtract uh, any real number from x that result in uh, shifting to the right okay and then uh, let's go to another transformation. If we multiply uh, x by 2, so we will get a uh, stretching. Uh, this is a vert vertical stretch. As you can see here, the green uh, is stretched. So there is actually an alteration in the form of the y is equal to log of x base 10. So it is stretched vertically. Okay, now as you can see here, um, the negative version of uh, log of x base 10. So, as you can see, it is uh, symmetric with respect to the x-axis. Okay, so those are some of the transformations of um, uh, the uh, logarithmic functions. Uh, logarithmic functions, And um, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you learned something. Uh, thank, you for, uh, thank you for your time.